Good morning, all you kings and queens. Welcome to another RPG video. And this one, I'm going to talk about my thoughts of Obi Wan episodes one, two, three. And hopefully, if episode four is going to be as good. So, just jumping right into it, I absolutely loved the first three episodes. It was. It was just mwah, chef's kiss. It was excellent. Going off of the first episode, if they didn't show the second episode immediately, I probably, like most people, would have binge watched the whole series after it was over. Uh, the first episode just showing how Ben is just, just a old man giving up on life, don't care about nothing no more. How he's <laughs> one Jedi is trying to say, hey man, I need some help. He's like, bro, just give it up. Just just go throw your lightsaber in the sand and just go pretend you are nobody, bro. Just disappear like I did off this cliff just now. Just go do that. Just, just trust me. You'll you'll feel a lot better. We got our asses kicked. Let's move on. Right? But this man is still having this smallest shred of maybe hope in Luke. Just looking at Luke, made his whole routine about watching Luke, found a cave <laughs> that he could get on that's miles away that he can watch this child, like kind of creepy, by the way, watch this child from miles away. He even gave him some toys and stuff, which I didn't expect, by the way. I didn't expect for him to try to have some level of interactivity with Luke beforehand so that was really surprising to me i like that that was really cool you know and then the whole let's just go just just rip this band-aid off the whole layer thing is absolute dog shit in my opinion i don't know why it was such a, a serious tone you know showing a man broken his will broken the thing that he believed in for the last, like, what, 10 years, I think, this show takes after episode uh, three. And then you switch to comedy Looney Tune hour with some of episode two with Leia. Well, the rest of the the rest of the episode with Leia. I'm just like, this is, this is stupid. At first, I was enjoying it. So I'm like, oh, okay. For some reason, Leia has... You know, it has some force sensitivity. Well, it's my, my theory is that she has uh, some level of force sensitivity. That's how she's able to just, she gets real clear and starts speaking real good to other people about their what they love and hate and stuff. So I think she has some level of force sensitivity. But then those people tried to kidnap her at the end of episode one. And... <laughs> I couldn't get my episodes mixed up. I'm doing this unscripted, and this is like a few days after episode three aired, and like right before episode four comes out. So I apologize. But then those three dudes, three not dudes, so those three people try to capture her, and they have like a Looney Tunes cartoon chase. And why is like why didn't nobody capture this like supposed to be ten year old child? There was, a, there was multiple points in the episode where I stopped because I was like I can't. I might fast forward past this. Because it was like chasing her, and then she would like turn a corner, and then you'll see the one of the <laughs> pirates or whatever stop to let her run past, and then pretend like they missed her. I'm like, what the fuck is going on, bro? It was so bad. It was so bad. But everything after that is so it's it's just it's just good. Him finally deciding to go help Leia. You know, digging, like, back to what he said earlier, digging that like, say, right of the dirt. Not confident in it. You can tell that he's nervous. He goes to the planet that he tracked her down from. By the way, that the girl that was like, I'm someone's daughter too. Here's some spice for free. That's apparently was uh, Obi-Wan's actual daughter. So, you know, they might have hit a little bit hard for him. <laughs> it, might, it might have been a little hard scene for him. Uh, and then, you know, he finds the pirates, yada, 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 he gets Leia, he's using just regular ass fighting. I like the, the, the more, I should put like the, the physical action of him like using, I should say, I guess martial arts, the little that he remembers or knows how to do 
after 10 years and he's like, oh man, ah, he's like, he, he shakes his head like, ah, ah, shit, that's right, I forgot this hurts, <laughs> that is 10 years, <laughs> that hurt my hand, <laughs> I thought that was a cool, oh, like, little touch in that episode, and then, you know, them getting Leia, and the Inquisitor chick, now let's talk about the Inquisitor chick, I'm not going to get into, like, how she's getting harassed online or anything, that's, that's just, that goes without saying as, as unforgivable, it should be done. Moving on from that, when, I, when she first popped up, I was just like, I absolutely, I shouldn't say I didn't like her. And it seems like she's been written to not be liked. I would say that I was hoping that she didn't have an extremely predictable storyline. Because when she first popped up. Those like first two episodes, it really seemed like she's, and uh, it seemed like she has she's gonna have a predictable storyline, especially if she was the little black chick at the beginning. I'm like, if they go with some, me and my friends came to you and you like shoot us away because you just uh, beat Vader or you think there's no Jedi anymore, and then all of my friends got killed and I got captured, so now I hate you, so I want to hunt you down <laughs> with Vader. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, this is garbage. <laughs> this is trash. <laughs> but after watching episode three, I'm like, okay, it might be some a little bit different motivation here. Even though Vader's like, you want to become the Grand Inquisitor, and then the fifth, fifth, the fifth brother, I believe it is, fifth brother is like, or a second brother, I don't know, fifth brother, second brother. One of those two. And she's like, uh, the Grand Inquisitor position is rightfully mine, and I will have what's mine. And she looked at it like, I hope we both get what we want for our sake. And I'm, I'm like, mm, that makes me think that her actual goal isn't the Grand Inquisitor, to be the Grand Inquisitor. Maybe she's trying to take Vader's spot. Maybe she's trying to find something else or some other purpose. I hope she doesn't turn out to actually be like, some like half a way roundabout good guy anti-hero garbage because I think that would be dumb because technically the only thing she's done so far is chop off an old lady's hand uh, and then kill or well, quote unquote kill a bad guy so maybe hopefully not something more interesting happens but at the end with her revealing to Obi-Wan that Anakin's alive for episode 2 and him, that man it's having a very, that, that shot, that, that whole scene is beautiful, by the way, yeah, of him having incredible. a very visual, like, mental breakdown. <laughs> Finding out that Anakin is still alive. Oh, that was, that's, that scene was so good. Like, he was feel, he looked like he wanted to throw up, started crying after the shot. Like, that was real. After, after that scene, he started crying on the ship. Got consoled by a 10 year old after that. <laughs> but then the end of episode 3, when Vader pops up finally, and he just starts, uh, like I've seen a lot of people say that, like, why did he do it? Or was he doing that because he was trying to, um, like, draw out Obi Wan because he knew it was there? I'm like, from my perspective, it looked like Vader looked directly at the door at where Obi Wan was from the way they shot it knew where he was exactly and it's like oh i'm gonna show you how much i don't give a fuck anymore how dark i've become and just started murdering people while more or less looking directly at the door because you know at first he's like just moving stuff with the force he's trying to find people that are hiding because you know he's sensing for somebody that's hiding because he's looking for obi-wan so that's what happens at first at first and then you very clearly see him see and look at the door and then, then he started indiscriminately just murdering people while looking in that direction. Did you see that? And then Obi-Wan runs oh. <laughs> and, then, and then Vader Batmans him and just pops out of nowhere where he was going, pops his lightsaber out. I'm like, oh, oh, this is a scene right here. They thought he's challenging his either Batman on him and he just proceeded to literally get his ass kicked. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, all right, drag him through the fire. Like, you gonna feel the pain that I felt? I'm like, okay, this is good. This is good. Everything about this is great. 
Everything about this is great. And I feel like the reason Vader didn't go through those planes is just him this boy up, give him the rest of these hands, was because oh, I'm going to torture you for a good three episodes because this needs to be six episodes long, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, he's just going to torture him. It's very clear that he's going to torture him, probably, you know, embarrass him with some more. And I can't, I'm here for it. I really can't wait to see what happens on today's episode. I also think that that droid was a little not like a droid, in my opinion. It felt like that was a person in a, like, pretending to be a droid. Maybe that's true. We'll find out later, probably. Anyway, those are my thoughts on episode one, two, and three. I know it was all over the place. It was just rambly. But that's what we do here. Rambling of a madman. Improptu improptly brought that back. Hope y'all enjoyed it. If y'all did, leave a like, comment, maybe subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. All we need is the power of friendship.